by using the sign we divide a number by another number. In general, division means split a number equally. For example, divide six balls among three balls. So we can write it like this and get the result as two. It means each boy will get two balls. Division or number line. Let us divide 15 by 5 on that number line. Draw the number line first. Mark 15 on that number line. It is being divided by 5. So we have to make such groups of numbers where each group has 5 numbers. So skip 5 numbers from 15 towards the left like this. We jump to the left because the number decreases in the division. Look, we have reached at 10 now. Skip again 5 numbers from here. We have reached to 5 this time. Again, jump back by 5 numbers. Fine. We have reached at 0. That means division is done. Now counting the number of jumps, it is 3, which means that 15 can be divided into 3 groups of 5 numbers. Mathematically, this process can be represented as 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. This is how we divide the number by another number on the number line. Terms in division. There are mainly four terms used in division. They are dividend. The number which is to be divided is called dividend. Divisor. The number which divides the number is called divisor. Quotient. The number obtained by dividing the dividend by divisor is called quotient. Remainder. If the number does not divide exactly, then the leftover number is called remainder. Let's discuss these terms by this example. Divide 24 by 4. We can write this division like this, that is by using division symbol whereas it can also be written like this. Here, we have to divide 24 by 4. So it means 24 is the dividend and number 4 is the divisor. So for the division, count the table of 4 and at 6th time, we got 24. That is, 4 multiplied by 6 equals to 24. So we write the number 6 here, and this is the portion row. After subtracting number 24 from 24, we have the result 0. This is the remainder. Now divide number 18 by 7. Here we have 18 as the dividend and 7 as the divisor. So on counting the table of 7, we get 14 at second time and then next 21 at the third time. Here the number 21 cannot be subtracted from number 18 because it is greater than 18. So we will write the number 14 here and the quotient 2 here. Now, after subtracting 14 from 18, we have 4 as a remainder because now the divisor 7 cannot divide the number 4. Now, 
Let's learn division of two digit numbers by single digit number. Divide 39 by 3. Here, the number 39 is the dividend that is of two digits, and 3 is the divisor that is of single digit. To divide the number 39 from 3, we start with tens place and check whether it is divisible or not. So here 3 is divisible, that is one time. So write portion 1 here and 3 here. Now in subtracting we have remainder as 0 but we still have 9 to divide. So we write 9 at units place that is after the number 0. Now we have a new dividend that is 9. For dividing the number 9 by 3, count the table of 3. We found that at third time the table is showing the number 9 that is equal to the dividend. So write the portion 3 at unit place and number 9 below this. After subtracting, we have nothing to divide, that is, we have 0 as a remainder. Let us learn the division when remainder is not 0. Let us learn it by dividing 84 by 5. First arrange the numbers like this. Now start dividing them with the leftmost digit of the dividend which is 8. Now suppose we have 8 beads and we have to divide them equally into 5 groups. We see we are left with 3 beads. These cannot be grouped as 5. This means on dividing 8 by 5 we get 1 as portion and 3 as remainder and this cannot divide by number 5. So we will take the number of the two ones place, that is 4. Write the number 4 after the number 3. So now we have number 34. Now, we will divide the number 34 by the number 5. So, count the table of 5. We can see that at the table at 6th place, we have 30 and at 7th time, we have 35. And this number is greater than 34. So we write the number 30 below the number 34 and the portion 6 here. On subtracting, we have 4 as a remainder. And this number cannot be divided by 5. Thus, finally, we have portion equal to 16 and remainder equal to 4.